Good evening and welcome to NTA Calabar Trending News. Tonight, I am Achibom Basi. Cross River State Governor Senator Basio too has denied taking no signing for any loan since the inception of his administration on May 29, 2023 till date. The governor's reaction follows the misrepresentation of the figures presented on the spreadsheet of the debt management office and posted on its website. The same figures from the debt management office is what some media houses, notably the Punch newspaper relied upon, analyzed and reported on the Sunday, March 31st, 2024 edition. Speaking through his chief press secretary, Sir Gil, Governor Tu wondered how the debt management office arrived at 220.2 billion naira as a domestic debt profile of Cross River State as of December 2023, up from 204.4 billion naira posted for the state as of June 30th, 2023. The difference in the figure subtracting 204 billion naira from 200 and 20.2 billion naira is the purported 16.2 billion naira reported as a fresh domestic loan allegedly obtained by Governor Basio II's administration, which is not true. The statement indicates that fresh loans take processes, including seeking legislative approvals, and that the governor frowns at the manner the figures were posted by debt management office as fresh debt profile of the state's government, which has caused confusion in the minds of well-meaning citizens and lovers of the state. The governor has therefore directed the Commissioner for Finance to take up the debt management office on the figures and ensure clear explanations are given on the published figures, which are untrue and unacceptable. For more on our 7 p.m. news, do join us on Star Time, Channel 103. Good evening.